Hello, so I want to show off these cool little uh, Hall effect sensors that I'm going to start carrying. Um, they're really super easy to use, super easy to hook up, and really useful. You can use them for measuring, for example, the rotation of an axle or, well, anything, alarm systems, anything to do with measuring a magnetic field. And you can see um, from this wiring diagram that they're ridiculously simple. It is unfortunate, however, that the wiring is slightly uh, flip from the standard uh, servo wiring. So you'll notice it's VCC ground and out with ground in the middle. And most servos of course have the ground on the outside or most sensors have the ground on the outside and the signal on the inside. So these two are flips so we can't use a standard just straight uh, three uh, filament wire like for example this one um, which would be really handy, but oh well, we, ha we actually have to use individual strands or somehow redo it. So what I've got right now is a, a 3.5 uh, running, just basically doing an analog read on pin zero. Okay, it's actually already running. It's just picking up noise right now. We can, oops, we can see the noise kind of floating through here. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and hook up some wires to it. And like I said, the way it typically works is the ground goes on the outside, the voltage is in the middle, and the signal is the one that's closest to the chip. Okay, and if we look again at this, we see it's um, uh, voltage, then ground, then signal. And there is a, see those edges here, this thing is not square. I'm going to see if I can get this focused in so you can see. Um, come on. Oops, hold on a second. Autofocus is off. There you go. You can see it's oh, it keeps focusing in and out. It does actually have beveled edges. Okay, so the beveled edges are toward the front, which means that this pin here, the outermost pin, is going to be voltage. The middle one is going to be ground and this one here is going to be signal. So I'm going to go ahead and start off by putting in the ground first and then I'm going to put in the signal and then I will put in the voltage. So you see oops, it's hard to do underneath the camera as usual. There we go. I'm going to plug in like that. So I've got voltage, I've got ground, I've got signal and let me pull this graph back up and you can see I've got a nice baseline reading and here I've got a ceramic magnet and as I get closer and closer to the magnet of course I get this really nice response okay and in, it's actually uh, polar sensitive so if I rotate the magnet you can see that we get quite a change Okay, so sensitivity wise, it starts picking up this magnet. Let's see, pretty far away, something in the order of about three centimeters or so, and it peaks out at about a centimeter, centimeter and a half, something like that. And on the reverse polarity, we get a similar response. We're three or four centimeters away, we're starting to get a response, and I come in and it bottoms out at about the same. Okay, so I do actually have three different ones. This is the uh, uh, the medium one, one I like to use the most, uh, but I will demonstrate all three of them here quickly. I'll hook them all up at the same time, and you can see the uh, difference between them. So hold on, and I'll pause this and hook them up. Okay, so I've hooked up all three of these, um, and you can see with the code, all I'm going to do is take three separate readings on channel 0, 1, and 2, print them out, notice there's no line feed here, just separated by a space, that way I can get three different plots on the same graph, which of course I've got running right here. And you can see, um, I've got the three plots. The blue is going to be the 18 millitesla, the one that I like the most. It's kind of the mid-range one. The 
red is a 73 millitesla and the green is a 9 millitesla all right so if we bring in a magnet you can see the changes in sensitivity they ultimately go to about the same value but the 9 millitesla has a greater range of response on both directions here. I'll flip the magnet over. Okay. So there you have it. Super easy to hook up. Super easy to use. Nice clean data. I hope you found this useful and I'll see you guys again soon.